वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टू द ऑनलाइन एन पी कोर्स कंटेम्प्रेरी आर्किटेक्चर एंड डिज़ाइन इन द प्रीवियस टू क्लासेस वी हैव वी आर डिस्कसिंग ब्रूटलिज्म एंड मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड इन दिस क्लास एज वी वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट बिफोर दैट मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड ब्रूटलिज्म समटाइम्स फ्यूजेज इन सम केसेज मेटाबॉलिज्म एंड ब्रूटलिज्म कैन बी एन आइसोलेटेड एग्जाम्पल द बिल्डिंग कैन ओनली फॉल अंडर ब्रूटलिज्म वेर दर इज ओनली द स्टाइल ऑफ द आर्किटेक्चर वॉज um uh, derived from the uh, aesthetics of uh, the brutalist uh, principle or it can only be within the metabolist uh, style where the functional uh, uh, principle are uh, coming from only serve and unserved but sometimes it can uh, this two can uh, blend with each other and uh, today we'll uh, uh, uh talk about uh, of this uh, new design where metabolism uh design style where metabolism and brutalism are together and especially with the example of indian context because many of the indian architect uh indian um, uh, master architect they have followed this architecture style um uh where they have followed brutalism and metabolism together and actually this also falls under the critical um, regionalism when we discuss that uh, we will uh, talk about that these examples can also fall under that critical regionalist style as we were uh, discussing that uh, this is an art and very uh, subjective way of looking at it so uh, placing a particular building uh, in a particular one uh, particular architecture style might sometimes might not be a right idea so uh, the concept can come from a particular movement then uh, the visual can come from a particular movement and which can fuse with the other architectural movement and because it's architect's own uh, perception and own idea so it can also fuse so also we have uh, discussed that how uh, brutalism uh, uh, the visual aesthetics from brutalism can have a critical regionalist approach which was a postmodern uh, movement so here uh, if we look at so uh, brutalism and uh, metabolism are together in this uh, last phase of uh, uh, this 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 movement uh, of uh, modern movement and which uh, is just before the postmodern era and here in this example richard medical lab uh, when uh, we were discussing this in the metabolist movement we also see from outside this is only brick so it it can also be uh, considered as at um, as a brick brutalist movement as well so uh, um, as we just uh, uh, we can just uh, look at what was uh, brutalism so it came from brute which means concrete and it's uh, it's on uh, 1950s to 1970s which is in the similar timeline of uh, metabolism and brick brutalism is also there where brick is used instead of uh, concrete and visually heavy uh, and uh, less fenestration uh, and much more robust in structure and uh, uh, also we see in this uh, richard medical lab um, the robustness is there uh, used in the service course where uh, so, uh, uh, where the which was connoted at the serv as a servant the servants looks very robust and they take the uh, load and visually they take the load of this uh, serve spaces uh, because of this uh, uh, richard medical lab uh, because of this uh, corner was chamfered from this uh, service uh, uh, serve spaces it looks like this is holding on to the servant spaces and this was this becomes a module of a richard medical lab uh, designed by uh, louis i can so that robustness was added here in this uh, ser uh, service spaces so as in the uh, uh, yale art and uh, art uh, uh, art and architecture center by paul rudolph was designed in the similar way in the new, uh, new brutalism uh, this is the new thing so here in uh, siam it was uh, connoted that um, ideology of brutalism uh, and metabolism are fused together where the truth to the material uh was uh, coming from the brutalism and truth to the design is coming from the metabolism what is the truth to the material because brutalism is talking about the pure uh, concrete uh, texture and color so there was no um, uh, plaster the similarly if we, if it goes for um, brick brutalism uh, there was no plaster and then uh, the stone work uh, in uh, bividoshi's work in i am Ma uh, bangalore there was no plaster so the material will uh, be shown as, as as it as its own uh, aura and own um, values and own um, 
visual qualities and the truth to the design is the process of the design is uh, divided in the servant and serve so when we create the bubble diagram we uh, think about that how this uh, uh, services will go where the uh, servant spaces will uh, be there but uh, generally in uh, the previous design uh, we used to hide the uh, architect used to hide the serv service course because the, there was a notion that service course or the servant spaces they don't look good uh, the aesthetically served spaces uh, are much more uh, higher in value uh, but that was not uh, added there so there was true emphasis uh, was given uh, uh, to the both the uh, thing and uh, both the uh, element which is servant was given its um, uh, visual emphasis services were also um, uh, served spaces were also given the visual emphasis and they were designed in a different way so there was that's why the truth to the design was there and it also follows a design principle where uh, the ser uh, service course or, or the servants will be designed and they won't change and modularity will only come within the uh, within the uh, uh, the serve spaces so that that was also the philosophy of the design comes from the uh, metabolism so together it uh, um, um, comes when um, in, a, in a building then it will be uh, the, uh, the uh, new uh, brutalism or the new brutalism uh, which will be exposed material and concept of servants um, and served will be there together so the ethics of the uh, the neo brutalism will have ethics and aesthetics of uh, um, of of this thing so ethics will come from the uh, uh, metabolism and aesthetics will come from the brutalism now in this uh, we have also seen this uh, the servant and serve uh, 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 spaces are visible from outside and they are treated in a different way so as the in the uh, richard medical lab so and also on the fenestrations are there but it, this is there in the so, uh, serve spaces in the so, uh, servant spaces they are very robust and they are uh, the, uh, they are visually robust and they are going um, protruding out of this um, uh, um, serve spaces so as in the Yamanashi uh, press center which is in the metabolism and has a similar concept and this looks visually very heavy and robust and if you, um, we, we also have shown you the section uh, where it looks like this this is uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, uh, served spaces are floating and hanging around this uh, servant spaces and they are uh, treated in a different way because this is uh, uh, curvilinear in nature and this is rectilinear this has more visual uh, weight and uh, there is no opacity and there is uh, opacity is much more in this uh, uh, because of this uh, linear voids are added and uh, this is also flexible because you can see this uh, elements where uh, individually um, uh, free um, uh, it, it's mo uh, modular floor plates can be uh, structurally independent uh, modular flo uh, floor plate can be added fitted with the uh, this 16 uh, service cores so here, here the uh, section is also there. So we can see this uh, visually. It also looks like uh, it can, it is taking the load, and it can be added, and it can also be subtracted uh, from um, each other based on the need of the uh, requirement. And it got modi uh, modified because of this uh, thing, and it also imbibes the uh, user's need. And also, if we look from outside, the material is. Uh, concrete so it can also be called as brutalism so this there uh, both the things are there together now the aesthetics from brutalism and ethics from metabolism uh, fix uh, um, are fused in many of the uh, cases but if you look at the um, uh, Yamanashi press uh, 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 if you look at the Nagakin capsule tower Nagakin capsule tower is definitely not brutalist it is only metabolist because from outside it is um, uh, it is uh, only the uh, 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 from outside it's not uh, the uh, concrete or brick if you see uh, 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 the steel structure it is not it does not fall under brutalism so it is uh, just this uh, shipping containers so brutalism uh, you, uh, uh, only uh, if, if it is brutalism it can only be concrete brick or um, uh, stone it cannot be steel if it is made out of steel so it is not brutalism uh, it will be uh, it is only metabolist in uh, nature so uh, so as this uh, other uh, uh, press center which we were showing and uh, which uh, where the form work was um, uh, kept from outside so this is a cladding so that uh, when there was a cladding the true to the material was uh, not shown from within there is a concrete wa wa work but the form work was left from outside and which 
works as a cladding so that is not that is not following the principle of uh, brutalism in brutalism there cannot be any cladding in the many of the architecture uh, um, example you can see that from outside the building looks like made out of a, uh, made out of a, a brick uh, uh, the um, uh, exposed brick, but if you go uh, 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 near the building, you will see this, those are the brick claddings in many of the cases. So, if there are brick tiles cladded on top of the building, so that uh, will not be uh, brutalism because cladding will be uh, brutalism will only have uh, if there is a section, so it will be a brick work so uh, will be visible from outside so there won't be any plaster but in this case so uh, brutalism will have only brickwork so this is the bricks hatch from section so i'm seeing from this is maybe outside and this is inside but this is just brick material you will see but uh, if this is um, you are seeing a plaster from outside of the brick and then there another layer of brick cladding which fr from outside looks like brick but these are brick tiles so that won't be a uh, brutalism because that's not becoming true to the material so material is hidden and then you are applying plaster and then you are applying another tiles which looks like brick that won't be brutalism because that's not uh, that is uh, going against the concept of brutalism so there's another uh, other few examples of uh, um, neo brutalism uh, where uh, brutalism and metabolism fuses with each other which is boston city hall which is designed by michael um uh, McKinnell and uh, Gerard Kalman, uh, where you can see the served spaces are uh, like canopy of the tree and grows on top of the servants' uh, spaces. And another example now in Indian context, many of the famous uh, Indian architects of modernist, uh, late modern era uh, are. Uh, following this architectural style, so uh, Raj Rewal is one uh, exam, uh, example is one of um, them. So you might have seen this building. This is State Trade uh, Corporation in New Delhi, Janpath, which is designed in 19. 89 so it you can say this is a post modern era started but in indian context so uh, we um, still followed a particular indian uh, architectural style so here uh, in post modern era uh, this kind of architectural style fall, uh, was there in india and it can also be um, um, connoted and uh, placed within the critical regional style of many other um, architect, um, uh, architects work but not uh, especially this building but other buildings which was followed uh, this architecture style can also be critical regionalist and continued within the postmodern era but this is a pure uh, uh, new uh, neo brutalist architecture style because uh, from outside if you look at so this looks like uh, uh, concept, uh, conceptually it has a similarity with the nagakin capsule tower or amanashi press center and here you can see these are the service course from outside you, if you just look at it you can understand this is the uh, service course and which is going uh, um, uh, this is uh, treated in a different way and uh, these are the served spaces which you can see that uh, this is uh, floating and hanging from the service course and so there is a cantilever and uh, there is a space and there is a gap and through and through a punctuation so you can see the uh, sky from this side so that gives a feeling of this um, units are hanging from this uh, uh, servants course and these are actually uh, if you look at so this is the construction was like that so these are the three service um, uh, of the servant spaces and these plates are um, added you know uh, um, um, in, in, in between them and if you look at so they are also changing in nature so if these plates are smaller and then uh, two, uh, there was a gap and two plates are bigger so that also adds to the modularity um, of the of the building but this is not modular and this um, uh, cannot be changed and this was uh, design but this has a visual feel of um, that it can uh, it can change and this uh, the concept of servant and served is there but it always n might not be modular for example um, Richard Medical Lab which is designed by Louis Kahn is not modular you cannot change it and you cannot uh, uh, de demolish the building but it has the concept of servant and served and they have uh, he have used uh, the visual uh, style in a different and they are treated in a different way and serv uh, servant spaces are uh, given the due um, emphasis on the um, aesthetics so it was also there in this um, Rajiva's building and also if you look at so this has much more visually robust and heavy look um, uh, rather than this uh, served spaces 
So in the section, you can see this uh, service scores are there, and this folded, uh, this uh, plates of uh, uh, so, um, uh, plates are uh, inserted uh, uh, between these. Um, um, Buildings. So you can you can also see the visual connection and the relation between the Yamanashi Press Center by Kenzo Tange and Rajiva's uh, building in uh, Delhi. Now another um, thing of new brutalism and um, but uh, putting this example uh, in new brutalism uh, will not be uh, very um, uh, correct. But the, all the um, elements of new brutalism are, is there in this building. But also this uh, building, uh, uh, the majority of this building is a critical regionalist building. When we discuss that, we'll uh, talk about how this is a critical regionalist building. This is uh, by Gan uh, Charles Correa's Gandhi Ashram in Ahmedabad. Uh, so um, uh, if you look at the building, the building um, also shows the exposed brickwork, exposed concrete work, and the material which is uh, covering the roof, which is uh, the uh, terracotta tiles and which is uh, there was no paint and no, no other elements are added because of the terracotta tiles are borrowed from the Indian vernacular architectural um, architecture where terracotta tiles are used in vernacular uh, huts of um, village so this was borrowed from there so this has a critic uh, this has a regional connection of India but if you look at so this from material side this is brutalist uh, because exposed concrete and exposed brick are used with without any cladding and without any different um, ornamentation and added on top of it but if you look at the, all the services so uh, from the plan of this building these are the module this is the, has a modular plan uh, so um, uh, this this uh, square plans of um, um, one one modules are added on top of um, uh, uh, on uh, um, around each other around a kund which is a water kund which is if you look at the plan it's available on net the water kund is there and on the center and different uh, same uh, elements uh, of modules are added with each other so that is uh, uh, following the concept of metabolism where the mo concept of modularity will be there so it can be it is not ad, uh, changed uh, because it's uh, designed by Charles Correa and all the functions are uh, function requirements were filled but it can be uh, changed uh, and it can be all uh, added it can be um, a few modules can add uh, can be added without destroying the um, uh, philosophy of the building because it does not have a particular form of uh, it's not ending up with a pure form that it can you cannot add anything or subtract anything so it can be added but it was not done and uh, uh, but uh, if you look at the plan it has a fluidity in the in the design now again another thing is when this uh, building is there so is if around this roof uh, the water will pass because this uh, it is speech roof or uh, the slope is there so water will uh, flow in this direction from each and every module so from between these module there is this water rainwater um, uh, will be uh, carried in this um, shaft which is uh, running throughout and between this module which is creating the structural grid or the beam uh, on top of this beam are actually this rainwater modules will be there and you can see the section of the beam is like this so uh, from here uh, rainwater will flow from here rainwater will flow so from here the water will be carried and every water will flow from here it's like water spout and in the water kund most of this water will go in the water kund and it will be there in the uh, central atrium or the courtyard which is uh, in the uh, actually a water kund so all this water will be uh, uh, these are the water channels and water will be there so this is these water channels are actually uh, the uh, so, uh, servant or the uh, providing the services to flow uh, uh, to uh, for the rainwater um, um, will uh, pass through these water sh channels and these are visible from outside so these water spouts are um, actually a visual element which is actually a solvent so this is uh, in this form uh, 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 of 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 this particular module this uh, sloping roof and this column plus this uh, water spout has a lot of visual element uh, emphasis in this design that's why this um, uh, design has a lot of um, has all the um, um, attributes of metabolism as well. 
Now, uh, another example of Sangat's is in Ahmedabad by B.V. Doshi. This is the, the office, working office of uh, B.V. Doshi. So here also this is uh, exposed concrete and here you can see the roof um, will flow the water and this, uh, 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 the runoff of the water will be uh, kept from this water spout and this will go as a uh, as a cascading fountain and it will go so this is exaggerated this water uh, rain water the way rain water is uh, flowing that is uh, creating an element of design so generally in the rest of the um, uh, other um, design so rain water pipelines will be just a pipeline which will be hidden in the building which might be even co uh, covered and cladded with some kind of um, a material it can be a glass curtain wall or it can be like metal cladding but it will be he hidden uh, generally or it does not uh, uh, or otherwise it was uh, just a pipeline which will not be uh, exaggerated and augmented with the design element but he, this uh, here in this design it has augmented and that's the design element and you can clearly see how the water will go and how the water is flowing from the uh, and it, it's creating a cascade which is just a rainwater uh, rainwater which is generally in the other design other building it will be hidden now in the uh, other example of uh, saped Ahmedabad, it's also a mixture of brick brutalism and uh, pure brutalism. This is also done uh, designed by Vivi Doshi. Here we can see the same uh, the material of uh, 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 brick and concrete, which is visible from outside, and um, um, uh, so this is this is um, uh, brutalist in uh, from aesthetics. But conceptually, if you look at the building, has this element, and this water spouts are very big, and this uh, from outside, this is the ornamentation of this uh, building. And uh, this comes like uh, in the in the previous uh, era, in the uh, traditional and uh, the uh, classical age of um, European um, architecture. There was gar gargoyle or in um, Indian uh, temples also there was uh, uh, the faces of different animals from the uh, from the animal's mouth the water will come and that is also a uh, accentuation of um, uh, this um, um, uh, of, of, of how the water um, flows and people will see uh, see that in the, this kind of uh, design is there in the many of the temples of India. So from uh, mouth of uh, a cow or other animal the water will come out. So that's a uh, rain water which comes out and uh, but that is beautified and um, uh, from that uh, it has been translated into much uh, more modern element and many of the Indian architect use that water spout as a element uh, how the water will go from uh, uh, from the sky to the earth and that was ex exaggerated in the design element. So here also in this uh, clean and pure uh, um, square cuboidal building these elements creates a visual uh, emphasis in the design. So that's all um, that's why this uh, concept of metabolism is also there. Now another example of uh, Raj Rewal. So uh, this is this is a particular style which evolved from uh, uh, is followed in many of the arch architects of um, India. So IAFM Bhopal also has a, a brutalist uh, style. So this is more of a brutalist movement because of a uh, uh, style which is there in the um, in, in in the building and uh, brutalism is uh, followed in this uh, uh, building and uh, also similarly sim uh, um, this arch series of arches were. Uh, translated into a modernist uh, style. So, uh, uh, the con connection of uh, again the Mughal uh, Saracenic arch was there in the building and uh, the uh, building also has a pure um, exposed concrete work which um, shows the brutalism. So, in this building it was uh, I am uh, just discussing about the architect's uh, work and their visual uh, palette. So, sometimes in some of the building it will be uh, more metabolist for example, this is more uh, uh, the manifestation of uh, metabolism is more. Uh, here the it is blend and then it is more of a critical regionalist building. Then this is a, a blend of uh, both and then this is also a blend of both. But here this is a pure brutal, uh, brutalist movement because we um, uh, brutalist architecture with uh, definitely it can also be uh, connoted as a critical regionalist building but metabolist uh, influence is not there. But here in this uh, building this is uh, Kanvinde's uh, uh, design uh, 
IIT Kanpur and IIT Kanpur's many of the buildings are uh, uh, which has been designed by uh, the um, AP Kanvinde is uh, falling under uh, brick uh, brutalism, uh, brick br uh, brutalism and metabolism um, um, mixture and also this is a um, um, uh, it can also be uh, called as a critical regionalist building as well. So if, if you look at the this is the library building of Kanpur if you look at the building from outside the structural manifestation of the building is clearly visible. So uh, here in, in this buildings uh, all these columns and beams are uh, visible through and through. Uh, none of the uh, building is hiding the column. In the most of the uh, cases if you look at the so columns and uh, brickwork will uh, blend with each other but brickwork is not blending with the column. So there was a gap and there was a fenestration so that the, you can see the column from top to bottom and it becomes an individual pillar like structure so nothing is hitting this pillar. So this has a particular uh, emphasis on this. So in the corner column also the corner is chamfered so from the plan if you see the, uh, so this is the brick and then there will be fenestration so the column becomes individually uh, uh, has its individual uh, aesthetics and then the brick will go like this so brick will never touch the column so that the column has its own identity and in the corner the column is the one which is visible there is no brick which is covering it and then the brick will go like this that is why from uh, bottom to top the columns are uh, becoming a very important visual element and these columns are uh, here are hanging um, uh, with a, a, a little amount of um, uh, a beam um, uh, from this side so the beam is also not crossing here uh, joining this so this is protruding out and then the beam is passing through so the column is becoming very uh, uh, the structural element column is becoming a very important um, element and from this part to just hold this there was a free, uh, column which is just hanging from uh, uh, going from um, passing through two floors and um, joining this. So uh, and from here you can see the series of columns which creates that um, structure which is uh, taking the load from this uh, bottom to top and this uh, shows how the load structure is uh, followed. So this is um, column is here acting as a, ser a served which is serving as a structurally this is actually a servant uh, serving this uh, um, actual uh, served spaces which is the library spaces and the other uh, spaces of the building. Now this is also a skylight which is visible from outside and this is an element uh, which is shown from outside. So this skylight is also an element of uh, a design which is just taking the light from the uh, top and this is um, uh, getting an emphasis in the visual emphasis in the design but this is also a served spaces and this served spaces is um, uh, as it is getting an emphasis is also be, uh, can be a, a concept of the metabolism and also if you look at so this uh, from here none of this um, windows are uh, uh, windows does not have much emphasis because uh, windows are just here to uh, create a visual gap between this uh, brick and this concrete work and in between there is a, um, a linear vertical window. So here you, you just see the volume of brick work and that is getting the emphasis and windows are just creating between um, as a punctuation between concrete and uh, brick. So there is a rhythm uh, concrete brick concrete brick this is going like that and brick uh, the window slits are just acting as a punctuation between them. So that is not becoming the protagonist and that is not coming as a uh, main emphasis. So the, uh, together this building looks very robust and visually heavy. This is the faculty building uh, of this uh, uh, IIT Kanpur and here also the st uh, staircase is has a lot of visual emphasis and this is treated in a different way with uh, robust concrete work and very uh, light uh, sleet so that it uh, has, has the robustness of a uh, served uh, servant space uh, so it has the uh, uh, has that element so there is lot of concrete and a very light sleet between this um, uh, concrete in the uh, staircases and also this is more dynamic element in the design all these lines are vertical and um, 
um, horizontal but here because the alignment of uh, the staircase is in such such a way that this uh, has a dynamic line which is slant line slant lines are definitely uh, uh, more dynamic line than a vertical and horizontal line which we know on the um, principle um, principle of design if the orientation of uh, this staircase uh, the staircase orientation in the plan uh, is in this way that's why uh, in in this way that's why the slants were visible if the orientation was in this side uh, then the slants won't have been visible so uh, it will uh, lose the visual uh, emphasis and also uh, this is not the staircase is not on the same line so the uh, staircase is recessed so uh, it has a different uh, treatment from outside if you uh, you cannot uh, see it from here clearly but if you look at this photograph this is as a uh, working as a water pipeline open water pipeline working uh, 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 constructed with the uh, concrete so from here the rainwater will come and this is the rain, uh, uh, channelizing the rainwater and all over iit kanpur's uh, design so this kind of rainwater pipelines are there so these all are rainwater pipelines from outside and that creates the visual emphasis so this is the rainwater pipeline which is going from top to bottom so all over this building has this rainwater pipeline which is uh, the visual element even in this building um, also there are rainwater pipeline around uh, in many places uh, places which are visible from outside and when the rain, uh, rain comes this water will flow from uh, here so this is also a metabolist uh, approach where services so this is a service a served uh, space which is having its own uh, design um, uh, is uh, acting as a as uh, aesthetic element and uh, some other examples by um, uh, architects who are uh, not from india but has uh, their work in india so joseph allen stein has um, two of the famous uh, buildings in delhi which is india habitat center and india international center in delhi so this also has a brutalist uh, approach so this is uh, the uh, brick and then there was a stone cladding as well but main um, protagonist of this building is brick and also there is this uh, same approach of uh, rainwater pipeline which is acting as a punctuation and creating the rhythm of the building is there and uh, acting as a visual element uh, so this is a fusion of metabolism and um, brutalism and here in this building this is brutalism and which is uh, shown from outside and this exposed brick wor uh, work is used and um, in this building as well and uh, some other architect like Christopher uh, Charles Beninzer also used this um, element of uh, which came from uh, Doshi's work and uh, Charles Courier's work and has been percolated in other architects work as well and here also you see the local material which, uh, this is in Pune this is a educational building uh, of stone work is used to blend with the local uh, stones which is available in the hilly uh, terrain uh, which blends with that so this also can be critical regionalist approach is there in the brutalist because uh, sometimes it can also be stone which we have seen in uh, I am uh, Bangalore's work is there in this uh, design so many of the Indian uh, architects or architects working in Indian context has followed a particular style which show uh, works with the exposed mat uh, uh, material which is um, concrete brick or sometimes stone and um, uses few of the ele uh, architectural elements like water spouts or the elements uh, which uh, falls um, acts as a rainwater um, uh, pipeline uh, made out of concrete in uh, for uh, in the cases of long uh, taller building like kanpur uh, has been used in the indian context thank you Thank you.